Hi, hi, hello. Um, so today's video, I should say this part first. Okay, let me apologize for the recording. I messed up. Also, my cat likes to attack me, so my hand looks a little screwed up. Okay, um, this video is my design process for, um, a cosplay I want to make. Um, it's not for any specific character, it's just a design I want to do and dress up as and... Um, I don't know. Maybe one day when I eventually try to play D&D, &D, um, this will be like my D&D &D character. Um, I know there's the, um, there's the cat people. I cannot remember their name for the life of me. And I looked it up one day, because me and my friends were going to do it. And I wanted to see if there were the half cat people, because I love... I really like drawing Nekos, and if I'm going to have a character, it's going to be something I really like drawing. <laughs> um... So they do exist, uh, they're half human, half, uh, Tabaxi! That's the name! Okay, I remembered, I think that's right. Uh, anyone who knows the actual name of the cat people, you can, like, roast me alive in the comments. Um, but yeah. Um, so this is my first des initial design process. I had to move to my parents' well, yeah, desk in the office, because I currently am having, um, I have snails and they need the light by the window so they get the light by the window um, which means I had to move but yeah um, so for this initial design I worked with the instead of working off of a character personality I kind of just worked off of the clothes I have already so I didn't have to spend as much money um, so there are two things I have I have this white fancy white shirt and I have a cloak and then I was like okay well what else could I add to this well I could and then, well, when I thought of the orange cloak, I thought of fire. And so at first I thought of maybe a, excuse the hand, um, of a fire source, sorceress sort of deal, a fire wizard deal. I need to research as you can tell. Um, yeah. Uh, so I started drawing this. I decided she'd be fiery. I also made her blonde like, like a fire and I gave her a red skirt because fire, hot, red, hot, um, you know. Um, I did do, like, some concept of the colors that I was gonna do to make sure they looked nice in a more detailed way. So, you know, it was, you get to see me color. Um, this isn't a finished piece by any means, it's just kind of a slap down of colors of just random markers I had. But, yeah, this first design, I actually quite enjoyed it. I liked the design a lot, but I didn't like it. So, or didn't like it for me to dress up as. So, I moved on to a different thing. Um, I still wanted the socks, the skirt, and the overshirt, because I liked those things. I just didn't like the hair, or I did, well, maybe I didn't vibe with the personality. Um, enough for me to want to dress up as it, I don't know. Um, uh, originally, I tried going the blonde, and didn't, didn't like it, then purple, green. You saw, you, you're seeing it right now, <laughs> but... Yeah, and then I moved on to the next design, which this was, I tried to record my whole process as much as I could. So this was the next concept that I came up with. And instead of going completely off of my like natural looks, I guess, um, I have sh short brown hair. A lot of people have short brown hair. So I gave this character short brown hair, um, hazel eyes, because why not? Um, I might change them to green. I don't know. Um, and then the same base, the basic same outfit. Okay. Now here, um, is the fun part. Um, I don't dabble too much. I want to make a comic, but I didn't know what kind of style I'd do it in because God help me if I did it in the art style I have now. Um, a page would take me three days. So I knew I wanted to simplify things and I thought, well, for this video, I was originally going to do this full on painted, beautiful, finished piece. But then I was like, why don't I try to make a comic, um, a comic page, um, you know, um, so, I tried to make a comic page. It's not the best. I need to learn how to do flow of a page on how to read it. I know this information. I tried really hard. Um, I I tried to make it as readable as possible. I think you can see how many times I flipped. I flipped. I flip it so many times to try to get it to be readable. Um, I also did something that I've been starting to do where I do my rough sketch in black and then I'll sketch over it in colors. I don't know why I started doing this. I don't know what happened one day, but I was like, well, 
what if I do my rough sketch in black and I then then and then I tried it and I really enjoy doing it. It makes me feel like a like a professional like concept artist. So it makes me feel like that. So we're gonna continue. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can see I, I fiddle a lot. This took me. I mean, this only took me two hours, but, but most of the two hours was me just fiddling around and just trying to like figure out the composition. Which, God, I need to work on that so bad. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I'll explain what's going on right now. So, and in the top corner, um, that's where she's sitting on a tree. She's sitting on a tree, looking at the forest and the mountains and the lake. Yay. Right? And then she hops down, and she hears a loud snap, and she looks. She, like turns around or something and she sees a wolf and now she has to fight the wolf but I did not draw the next page because I was only gonna do one page <laughs> so I just drew the little like thing and like her hand with her like little dagger and the wolf um yeah and then this is the over sketch which god I cannot even tell you this um well this was actually really fun I mean I don't really like the way the colors and stuff came out I don't know. I do know when I do have make my own comic one day, I want it to be, uh, I want it to have some colors. I don't want it to be black and white. So I'm going to have to figure out how I want to color. Um, I also need to practice backgrounds um, <laughs> a lot. A lot, a lot. But I'm sorry if I keep on saying, but yeah, I don't even like... I just, I don't know what to say in the sketching process other than I fiddled around so much and and I just, I fiddled around so much and I tried so hard to like get things the correct way. Um, there is one thing like, I will have to say, I'm not the best at drawing animals. The wolf doesn't look that great. I tried so hard on that damn wolf. <laughs> And it did, I mean, it, I thought it looked decent for how it is. I also, um, you'll notice, um, I'm not have making a complete art style change, but I'm trying to, to kind of simplify the way I draw eyes. Um, oh wait, I was going on about eyes. I'm so sorry, I spaced out. But, um, I decided, um, Instead of doing the thing where I do the bottom part of the eye, I was just going to try to line the top part, which I actually really like the way the eye looks when you do that. I, it's really freaking cute. Um, so I think I might continue to do that even in my more finished pieces because I don't know. I just kind of, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, so if you see my art and it's now like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also. To everyone out there, um, this, I have a hard time sticking to this advice, but you don't have to stick to one art style. And don't think if you're changing something about your art style that you're changing your style completely. Like, I still draw and shade and use anatomy like I do. I just changed the way I drew eyes because I wanted my art style to look a little bit more cute. So, it's not changing my style, because you can obviously look at my drawings and see that they're the same style other than one thing's changed. So don't be afraid of doing that, just because you want to stay on your art style. I knew I had that concern for a very long time, because I just wanted an art style and to keep that art style, and I kept on changing it. When really, well, yeah, sometimes it made a complete 180 and it's a different style, but, you know, you're just doing your thing and trying to figure out what you want to do. So I will be doing that. So if you see any random little changes, that is just why I'm doing my thing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, there won't be any major changes though, because I like overall, I like the way I draw. But yeah. Okay, so here is the line art. This is where I wish I had Clip Studio Paint because I hear that making panels and lining panels is so much easier. I had to get out the ruler it's not fun. I know we're not there yet, but I had to get the ruler, and it was the most unfun thing you could possibly think of. Because <laughs> I had to draw it, and then sometimes the lines wouldn't connect, or the line would go too far, and I was like, damn, I wish I could just make a box. 
um, it was so weird. Um, and then, yeah. I think I will leave you guys here and I will come back during the coloring phase. So, I will see you guys in the next part. Hi. Hi, hi, hello. I'm back. Um, so, I said I didn't like the colors, and this is the coloring part, so I thought I should talk about the coloring part during the colors. Um, I like the colors on the character. Don't get me wrong. I really like the colors on the character. The backgrounds, though, and that last panel with the knife, and I hate, I just don't know what I did wrong. Someone please tell me what I did wrong. I don't like the colors at all, and I really need to learn how to make the colors better. You know? I... <laughs> and I tried to do the best I could with coloring and filling in all the white spots, but I think I missed some parts, so... That, that's sad for me. But, yeah, overall, other than the colors, um, for the background and stuff, I really like this drawing a lot, or this comic page. I, it's the best I've made so far when it comes to practice pages. Ignore my cat, she's crying at me. Oh, shh, um, you know, um, don't, I will say this, do not ask me for advice. I'm still trying to learn. Um, I should look up a tutorial, I haven't yet, um, because I'm big brain. Um, yeah, but, um, so this is kind of it. I mean, I just don't know what I did wrong with the colors. I do and the shading I don't know how I feel about the shading but I don't know if I should have left it um, not shaded or not or what I should have done maybe I should try coloring in a more watercolor -y sort of way where it looks like washes of watercolor that actually sounds like a really good idea I'm gonna try that next time uh, but yeah um this is this is my comic this is the cosplay thing I'm gonna do and yeah uh, at the very end of the uh, speed paint, you'll get to be able to see it in like its full beauty, I guess. But yeah, um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. You're, you're amazing. And I would ask you, if you're not subscribed, to subscribe. It'd be great. Um, same. Th and if you, you should hit that little bell thingy as well. That would you make my day even more. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sorry for shilling. I, 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 I'm sorry for shilling. That and also with the shilling, um, Twitter. My Twitter is in my bio. My Discord server. I do a series where I draw people's OCs. If you are interested in that and you are new here, you can join the Discord server. Submit your OC. You know, have a grand old time. Talk to people. Uh, you know, like the world's your oyster in my discord server unless you're doing bad things which you should read the rules so you know what the bad things are okay <laughs> but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching i will let you guys watch the rest of this video and i will see you in the next one Bye bye